This is Grutas de Cacahuamilpa. Today I've been here many times, haven't been here for a few years. Quite a few years, maybe three at least, three or four. This is a national park in Guerrero State in Mexico. Well, I think one of the biggest network of caves in the world. Going into the depths, the depths of hell. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but if you can hear that squeaking, that's bats. It's kind of hard, you don't really see them, but you hear them the whole time. You can smell them, you can smell the guano. So this is obviously the entrance. It's about, uh, I think it's close to an hour walk. And you, you have to go with a guide. You can't do this on your own. You have to come with a, with a group, but it's fairly loosely organized. And you come down here, you start with the group. The guy points out some of the, uh, the uh, formations of rocks and things like that and talks about it. And then uh, you get to, it takes about, yeah, about an hour to get to the end of the cave. And then you're on your own coming back. You can uh, you can take as long as you want. And they, they have lights in here. You don't see now, but they light up uh, certain sections if there's something uh, cool or interesting to see and talk about. And it's uh, very wet in here. The cave is always, obviously, the same temperature all year round because it's underground. And it's always... And again, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but it's, you just hear constant dripping from the moisture coming through the mountains. I guess that's about it because it's, it's very dark. There's not much to see. But I'll, uh, I'll continue as the lights, as this guy turns on the lights and shows stuff. I'll show the formations. Continuing with Las Grutas, we came down this little lighted pathway. And we're coming into this giant hall. I don't know how well any of this can be seen in the video, but it's pretty cool seeing it in person. I think I've been here six or seven times before. Very wet and humid. What do you think of this place? Pretty awesome. I've never been in a place like this. It's pretty cool. Yep. <laughs> Continuing, we came from up there. Now we're passing by this. And I guess everything is much uh, bigger than it really looks because I'm using the ultra super mega wide angle lens so I guess everything looks a little bit more a little bit smaller but this place is enormous oh, 
Lights out. This part is cool. Very uh, big wide open space here. Excuse me. This is my normal lens, so this maybe looks more realistic. What a great place. But by all means, for anybody outside of Mexico who watches this, don't come here. Because as you all know, Mexico is an incredibly dangerous country, as you can see. This is a, like an amphitheater here. They have concerts here. Oh, that's cool. Nah, you can't see anything on the, the on the video. Oh. Continuing with the cave tour. Cool formation here. I don't know what they're called. Formation, I guess. It's probably a very uninteresting video. Awesome to see in person. Probably doesn't translate well. This is the most amazing formation in the whole place. It's rocks that have taken on the form of a public restroom, bathroom, toilet, washroom, whatever you want to call it. Incredible how nature works for nature. All right, this is kind of the, the grand finale of the cave tour. They call this, I guess, the, uh, the champagne bottle. Although I'm surprised Corona or Modelo or somebody hasn't attached their name to it. I guess that's all from uh, Grutas de Cacahuamilpa in Guerrero, Mexico.